Hong Kong, which presently houses the world's quantities of biggest high rises, was a previous crude place that is known for the semi waterfront individuals. Capable in rice development, fishing, and cultivating throughout the entire existence of Hong Kong. Beginning as a little local with a scant populace arranged at the conversion of Pearl Waterway Delta and the South China Ocean, Hong Kong presently is one of the world's driving worldwide monetary centers. The developed cosmopolitan city on the southeastern coast of China is becoming a popular tourist destination around the world. It has a history that is both extremely turbulent and rich in history. This area has been in existence since the Neolithic era and its Romanized name is He Hong Kong, which translates to Fragrant Harbor. Early indications of cultivating was seen in the previous history of Hong Kong. Rock carvings found in the variety of locations on the islands of Lama and Lantau support the theory that cosmology was practiced by early ancestors. The Eastern Han Dynasty in this region extended Chinese rule from 25th to 220 AD. During this time, each of the five major clans in the region emerged independently. The five families, Tang, Hao, Ache, Liu, and Man, began their residence in this domain alongside numerous different factions towards the 16th century's end. British imperialism was fully established in this territory at the beginning of the 19th century. British trade in this region was expanding at a much faster rate due to its excessive reliance on tea imports from China to European nations. Before long, an awkwardness in exchange began to occur in larger pieces of China with the English East India Company. The British made a clever move to take into account the imbalance with China having a wealth of silver with them and English brokers offered opium to China which China required. Along with another serious consequences of the growing spread of opium addiction throughout the entire region, the rich resources of China's silver were being drained from the region in order to buy opium. During this time, the Chinese Emperor Chia Ting banned the trade of opium in China. Later, his son Tao Kuang banned it in Huampua and Macau. First opium war. Not long after opium was pronounced unlawful in the land, the combat zone for pursuing the two ensuing opium wars was preparing. Ever later, unlawful opium exchanging English dealers were pirating opium from India to China. In the smuggling scene to China, even Turkey had a significant impact. In this way began the main opium battle in 1939 up to 1942 because of opium pirating monetary compensations prompting the execution of the arrangement of Nanking. China was able to establish five treaty ports in the territory of Hong Kong 
and surround it with smaller island thanks to this agreement. Second Opium War between 1956 and 1960, there was a second Opium War. This time, the French power likewise helped English hands in proceeding with war with China. The Second Opium War, also known as the Anglo-French Wars, had the effect of further weakening the previous decision regarding the opium trade, which led to the establishment of new trade ports for the European start. Japanese control during World War II, Hong Kong history includes a period of three years and eight months of Japanese imperialism. This took place in 1941 and continued until the British and Chinese troops took Hong Kong during the Second World War in 1945. Sir Mark Young, governor of Hong Kong, was defeated by Japan in a bloody struggle in 1941 when they took over Hong Kong. The imperial Japanese regime, which was marked by ruthless population executions, torture, hyperinflation, and other issues even prohibited the use of Hong Kong currency in the territory during their tenure. Hong Kong as an English province for over a really long period. Hong Kong was a piece of the English word settlement from 1841 to 1997 with the exception of the three years when the local was under Japanese imperialism. HK kept on being a piece of the UK's provincial property. Provincial property Britain was granted a lease on the Hong Kong region of the next for the next few years as World War II was coming to an end during the Second Opium War in China. China was unable to acquire Hong Kong during those years as a result of this. From 1997 on, Hong Kong was finally subject to China's one country, two system until 2047.